Welcome to the channel for a new one another. My name is Jamie. Today we're unboxing the Microsoft Laptop Surface 4 in this gorgeous ice blue color. But of course, you knew that because you clicked on this video. But to be honest, I'm a little bit confused, conflicted, and at the same time, I am excited to be unboxing and purchasing this product here. The reason why I'm confused is that I have not used a PC or Windows product for that matter in over 10 years. So clearly, I have been stuck in that Apple ecosystem world and that's where I'm comfortable so that's why I've never really stepped outside the box and I'm a little conflicted because I am upset with you Apple because you did promise us that all programs would work through M1 chip but unfortunately I've hit a couple roadblocks especially when my semester started in the beginning of this month September and some programs aren't just they're just not running they're not running so here we are I'm stepping foot into the PC world and to be honest if I am going to be stepping into the PC world I'm excited Excited to be trying this Surface laptop. Seeing them out, coffee shops, YouTube, you name it. And it's always been if, if I'm gonna get a product, this is always the one that I was gonna get. So I'm excited to check it out. But before we open it on up, let's talk about some of the specs that I picked. And to be honest, there was a lot to choose from, which made it really tricky. This one here is the 11th gen Intel i5 with 512 gigabytes of storage. It does have the 16 gigabytes of RAM with a screen real estate of 13 and a half inches. But like I mentioned, it does come with a series of colors, sizes, and material, and this all does vary based on the specs that you choose. Even your chip base, you can choose AMD, and there's a certain selection for that. Intel, certain selection for that and then screen size certain selection for that so needless to say there's a lot to choose from but this is the guy that I went with so let's go ahead and check it out so again I have never actually quite opened one of these guys so let's see if what the experience is like oh, I am finding a pull tab here okay so very similar uh, to what I am used to so let's open this guy on up rip 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 oh it opens from the side Fill this guy open with a box. It looks like it's been through a little bit, <laughs> but that's okay. Shipping, you know how it's like. Speaking of shipping, it's kind of, it was kind of hard to come by. I had to wait several days, and I don't know if that was because of the specs that I picked, but they all seemed quite limited when I was choosing it online. So if you do want, go ahead and plan in advance. Can't literally walk in, at least that was not my experience here. Uh, okay, first impression feels uh, similar uh, to what I'm coming from. I'm not going to try and say the A name over and over, but it does feel nice and hefty. feels good, but let's check out what's in the box here. Manuals. Do you think we got stickers? I, honestly, I don't know. No stickers. Uh, inside here. This one has half, so I'm guessing this is the charging brick. Uh, okay, so the plug. And cool, charging charging brick. Ooh, and there is a little USB VA. I wonder if that's to transfer information, transfer data, or is that to charge something? I'm telling you, I need <laughs> I need a Microsoft Service Lesson 101 early onto the floor. Uh, and that's it, I think that's all that's in here. Yeah, it feels like, that's it. Okay. And then, as far as this dude here, so nice little plastic. Oh, this goes all the way around. All the way around. Nice. Uh, you do have the USB-C, USB-A, and headphone jack, which is nice. Really like the feeling in my hand. It is an all-metal enclosure. I don't know if this is for the fans or the speakers. Uh, we will find out. And then this is, it looks like it's a SD card reader, but it is not. I already know that. It's for the, the charging. Ooh, on, on, on. I wish there was a sound, but I'll, I'm happy with the instant on. Cool. And while this guy's booting on up, again, being completely transparent, I've never set up a PC Windows product. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Cortana. I'll sign in here, Ooh. touch a Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. All right, well, on. apparently Cortana tries to be extremely helpful, but we're just going to quiet her down for a little bit. Sorry, lady. And another reason why I wanted the Microsoft Surface brand was that this fourth version came out relatively recently. It came out right at the peak of summer, so a new model 
anytime soon is going to be unlikely, but I also went uh, along with this product because of price, performance, as well as design. So as far as prices, they start at $9.99, can we expect up to around double that. But one thing that really amazed me was the SSD is self-upgradable. I don't know how to do that, but I'm sure there's video out there on YouTube that'll show you how. And as I did mention, this version here is the quad-core Intel i5, so I shouldn't have to worry about having too many things open at the same time. But a really cool feature is that it has Windows Hello, so it's gonna open up when it sees me once I set that up. Uh, however, it does not have Finger ID, Touch ID, I don't know what they like to call it. I think it's still called Windows Hello. Uh, but there is no fingerprint reader on, on this particular model, and battery life is said to be around 17 hours or so. I heard real life scenarios around 13 hours, which is still pretty impressive, so I'd be happy with that. So I really do love this all aluminum enclosure, and I did not want to compromise my typing experience, so these keys really do feel great right off the bat. The keys themselves are backlit, and the screen quality experience is also pretty nice. It has a three by two screen aspect ratio, which is really great for split screens, which will allow me to be on my Zoom calls and run my programs at the same time. It is a pixel sense display that does support the surface pen and touch. Uh, I don't have a surface pen and I don't really anticipate using the touch feature too often. I don't like getting my screen all fingerprinty, but it's nice to know that I could do that if I wanted to. So I'm definitely going through quite the learning curve with this new product for, for a little while. So if you would like to see a follow up video, be sure to let me know down in the comments section, as well as just would like to see some more non Apple related content. You could watch me struggle along with it. But yeah, that's what I'll leave it. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, you do know that I appreciate you. My only request is you please drop that like, comment, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Uh, and until next time, I'll see ya.